but I just want to describe some of these words to you. So it says, do not be misled. Bad company corrupts good character. 1 Corinthians 15.33. So basically what this first part in the purple means, do not be misled. Someone gave you the wrong information. And so they were like, yeah, go to this new awesome store that's opening with your favorite toys in it. And it's going to be open today at noon. And you go there and they're like, um, no, we're not open until tomorrow at noon. And you're like, I was misled. It says bad company corrupts good character. Do you know what that means? So bad company. What do you think bad company means? Anybody? Raise your hand. Morgan? Someone, well, that's rude to you or something? Maybe. That, that's a good example. Yeah, not a good friend, friend you said. Not a good friend. That's exactly what it is. So it says don't be misled. So don't let someone trick you. A bad friend corrupts good character. Do you know what corrupts means? Mm. Have you ever had some gross moldy cheese in the fridge? Brainwash. Yeah. Oh. Brainwashes? Old, oh, so it's corrupted. He gives so you time if you have a bad friend, if you have bad company, that could actually change you, your character, into being like them. You could become bad. Uh, say it. Let's say it together, one at a time. Uh, each one word at a time on the count of three. One, two, three. Do not be misled. Bad company corrupts good character. First Corinthians fifteen thirty three. Okay, we can do it underwater. Can you guys go? Ready, set, one, two, three.